SM. No, I, I was in, zero. I wasn't living in California. <laughs> oh yeah, that's <laughs> wow. I almost got you, dog. You almost, I almost did. Got you. I know. You, oh, when did you move from Hawaii? Like that uh, was two years ago. Two, two years ago. Two so, years? Yeah, it's been two years. Wow, I thought you'd been here longer, man. Yeah. I know. I, I can tell by the shirt that you're Hawaiian, though. Yeah, you already know. Yeah, you and Void had that beautiful journey down here, man. Yeah. But, man, MSM, talking about beautiful journeys, MSM used to be in a very cramped card shop. I, I wasn't there, but I've heard many stories. Oh, cramped yeah. card shop, no AC. Listen, dog, I'm from New York City. I know I know a thing oh, or two <laughs> about, about cramped <laughs> venues. <laughs> but look at Kamehameha, man. Yeah. He, he saw that Nico was coming in for grand finals. Look at that smile, dog. He already knows. He's like, he's excited, man. He's like, yeah, <laughs> guaranteed win? Ooh. Is that what he's thinking? Well, let's right, see. Well, okay. We'll so, see. The one thing I wanted to comment about Nico fighting Kamehameha the second go around, one thing I definitely want him to do is to play more patient, play okay. more calm. I felt like in the first set against him, he was going unga bunga. He was going right in his face and mashing buns and tried to play as aggressive as possible. And that wasn't really working. And as I'm saying this, we're seeing it right here. It kind of felt like a button check for 15 seconds, but no, they were just both playing super passive. I think Nico's taken that game plan to heart. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's so important, especially against some of these Japanese players. They have uh, patience of steel, man. You can't break it, and it, it can be really frustrating. And they're just so smart as well. They're so good at this game. And not a single percent on a Kameme. Can we talk about it? Uh, let's talk about it, man. He's, oh. almost, he's about to lose his stock. He's about to die. And oh, he is dead. Duh. That's a zero death coming out from Kameme. Not a good start for Nico. Like, out the gate. This yeah. is the person you lost to. Now he's already established that much momentum. He's got that much steam going for him. Nico's got to come up with a new game plan here. This is not Scat that he's fighting anymore. Yeah, and, and the thing that's crazy too is usually the guy coming from losers at least has some kind of momentum coming into game number one. You know, he's, he's feeling hot. He's feeling good. Just just won losers finals. Kamehameha been on the side, kind of getting a little cold. But, man, Kamehameha just really starting off this first game very, very well. And Nico, you saw he had the right idea there, going for that down tilt, just trying to hopefully, hopefully was that Kamehameha was going to miss that tag, so you just connect that and continue the combos off stage. It's crazy how Kamehameha is out air to airing uh, Nico, even though Nico has all the. <laughs> did he just die at 78? Smash Monado Art off stage, baby. He forward aired through the pellet. Yeah, wow. Yeah, get that. Uh, you're throwing lemons at me, dog. I don't want it. Did Kamehameha just underestimate the powers of the Monado art? Oh, oh no, he, no, he didn't. He's done. Wow. He All got right. the up tilt. Two I stocks mean, to one. Yeah, and uh, what a stylish way to get it as well. That Z drop, Metal Blade hitting multiple times. So it gives Kamehameha that time to set up into that dash up tilt. And now you can tilt out of dashes as well in this game. Yeah. So it makes it even easier. He loves that combo, man. One yeah. of his faves. <laughs> Yeah, and I mean, he's the one in Smash 4 that really popularized the uh, footstool combos as well. So uh, uh, the, the Metal Blade or all kinds right. of crazy things. Never so. forget his showing at his first Evo where he got second place yes. with Mega Man, a character that it was on no one's radar back in the past game. Oh, yeah, for sure. That that was such a... It, it's always yeah. crazy when Japan comes in with all these crazy characters and it's just like, yo, man, I bet you guys didn't know about this. What's up? It's like USA, is, you know, we're, we're, we're stuck with, the, with, the, with certain characters, you know. So they, they definitely got a lot of variety. But Ultimate's been been great. We see a lot of matchups. Like, you know, we're seeing Shulk versus Mega Man right now. This is not a matchup you usually see too often in Ultimate. Going for the uh, Smash Monado Art. Tries to catch the forward air. Not going to give it to him. And now Nico's starting to bleed. Yeah. Even if he gets rid of the stock, I don't know, man. It might just be a little bit too late for this game, <laughs> number one. So he wants the Z drop in the yeah. back here. He's looking for a clip. Can I get some respect on my mans? And Nico off stage. Oh, wow. And... The way like Scat and Kamehameha are delaying their options off stage, it really goes to show, man. Almost gets the back here, directional air dodge. Does he He's have dead. to switch the jump art? Oh, it's yeah. not enough. The problem was that he, when he went for that uh, accidental air dodge, he was in speed Monado art. And in speed Monado art, you, faster fall. you jump, you, fa you fall faster, and your double jump gives you literally no distance. And he committed to the double jump before switching over to jump because he had to in order to give himself some uh, vertical, uh, some time before touching the blast one so he could switch over to the jump Monado art. By the time he committed to the air slash, he was just way too far away from that ledge to catch. Yeah. So that was just an unfortunate thing. The thing, but the problem is, is that Kamehameha still had two stocks when that happened. So even if he didn't SD there, I felt like Kamehameha was going to get the kill regardless. So hopefully Nico doesn't think too much about that SD and try to move on. Yeah, yeah. And try to put a point on the board at least. Here we go, jumping into game two. 
Yeah, at this point, you kind of it's just you kind of need that mental reset. Just all right, you know what? You, yep. you you got that game one. Let's change up the pace. Let's change up the stage. And here we are on final destination. And just wants to get rid of the platforms completely. And maybe you know, right there, he was covering options because he recognized that Shulk's best option in that scenario was to go for an air dodge into the stage and not try to like recover low. Yeah. So Kamemi was like, you know, what? I'm just gonna throw this down here while I go back to the stage. Whoa. Nair, a very long-lasting move, so that's actually not too bad of an option to go for against someone doing a neutral getup. Ooh, big damage here for Nico. Um, way much of a better opener here. Um, I, I think the final destination really helping out with that. But Kamehame getting that stage control, setting up this saw blade. Okay, we're in speed matter work. Kamehame not giving him wow. a chance to even use the R, just cornered him completely. Ooh, smash attack, and that is going to be the stock. Kameme trying to get the style points there with the parry into the up tilt. That should have been a really cool conversion for Kameme, but because, like, Nico had so much aerial momentum coming from the speedrun out right. of arts, he actually was able to escape out of the up tilt. I felt, even, I felt like if Kameme were to turn that around after the parry, the up tilt would have connected. But instead, he paid the price and lost the stock for it. Okay, big punish here. Then you down throw, no dash attack to connect, but the down tilt will follow. Yeah, he was too far away to get caught by the grab. He runs away. Oh, he got caught in the slide, so he wasn't able to go for a punish. Yeah, I hate when that happens. But the back throw, we're going to set up this offstage situation, and ooh. Take <laughs> he, the trade. Yeah, he definitely uh, worth trade for Kamehameha, but you know what? At least Nico got some damage out of it. Yeah. He got a little bit of a hit. Still has a slight lead here. A 50% deficit with Buster Renato Art here trying to make it even greater. Yeah, and that's the that's the scary thing about Shulk, you know, when you, when you can, there's always pros and cons. Pretty much whatever the Monado does for Shulk, it does it against as well. And wow, can we talk about that shield pressure? He crossed him up and, and went the for the grab. empty grab. Yeah, or empty hop into the grab. Very smart stuff. It, it's it's the whole. It's, oh, that's the classic again. trick, man. You just go for the Z drop into the up tilt. Kamehameha loves that conversion. Yeah, and it's so good because Jump Squat is so fast in this game. You see the way Kameme was actually pressuring him with the Saw Blade in hand. So it's like, short hop, short hop, touch my shield. I'm going to jump out of shield in the Z drop and connect the up tilt. So that out of shield option for Kameme is so powerful with the Saw Blade in hand. And now Nico, you know, showing his card early. Whoa. Once, he's barely able to survive that. That was scary because he was at 0%. Catches another forward smash. I feel like Nico's throwing a forward smash so many times this game. I don't know. Maybe he's just feeling it because it's working out for him. Gives him a lot of range. Catches the back air. Jumps over the crash bomb. Maybe just throwing all his projectiles and not even feel like he's off stage or any pressured whatsoever. He's making Nico feel pressured. You know, Nico's the one standing still on stage. Yeah, exactly. But another saw. And just using your projectiles like to pelt your opponent while they're trying to set up the offstage situation is such a big deal. But the fair is going to get it for Nico. He literally used the invincibility frames off of rolling onto the stage to get the crash bomb onto Kamehameha. He gets caught by it and then converts off of the explosion. That was so smart. Biggest of brain plays coming out here for Nico. And now in the Buster art, what a uh, powerful art to bring back the damage. I mean, that's what Buster is for. Yes, sir. Gonna try to tag on the damage, wears off, goes to the jump out arcs. He wants to go for an edge guard, catches the air dodge. He's out of jumps. Oh! Hold on, he still has an air dodge. Obviously, just go for the ledge completely. You know what? Mix them up. He got a lot of damage, though. He didn't get the stock, but still getting a lot of that damage is very, very important. Now, Nico opting to go for the ledge traps. I like that. You know, a lot of the offstage interactions haven't been really working out for him. Okay, so we have not to get back on. Nair goes right through the metal blade, gets caught by the back air, converts it into a grab. Offstage situation, backslash, gets the parry. Z drops. If he would have, oh my shield god, art. because he was in shield, able to survive another day. Nico had extreme faith in Kameme's ability to ledge trap, but here comes the forward air and no shield art for that one. And Kameme will go up 2 0 here against Nico. And uh, let's see in a little bit more sweat. A little bit, just a little bit more sweat. At, le at least that one was uh, last thought. I mean, Shulk's got the bigger sword, but Mega Man still has got his sword's on fire, dog. Yeah, and I that, mean. That, that's got to cut you, you know? Like, imagine getting cut by a sword, but imagine getting cut by a sword that's also on fire. It's very anime when you think about it. Yeah. It's got that plus one attack. I, I'm glad it's good in this game because in, in Smash 4, it was not so great. Not as all. But, dude, the, you know what the last thing I want to see right now? I don't want to see Nico get 6 0 by Kamehameha. That's like the last thing I want to see. Yeah. And I agree with the stage here. Final destination is the pick. He did pretty well on this uh, stage last time. And I think Nico's starting to get that adaptation, but is it too little too late, man? I'll have to find out. He's opted to switch over to the Dunban color, so let's see if this will get, get, get that little bit of samurai tech in this. Yeah, so, you know, counter counter or color counter picks are yeah. a real thing, man. 
<laughs> they, they, they change up your, your, your mentality. You know, you're looking at a different color. Maybe you think differently. I don't know. Yeah. I, I know, like, uh, red is, isn't, like, red, like, you're more hungry or something? You're, you're more hungry. You're, you're more happy. So you, maybe you'll be, be a little bit more aggressive against them. Well, I don't know. Some, color some, science. Some bull crap like that. I don't <laughs> know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So here comes the pellets. And, man, uh, wow. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he I didn't just, say it. he's just putting up a wall against Nico. And you can tell it's the pellets, it's the it's the metal blade. It's just so much is coming out, and it's, it's so difficult for Nico to just try to find his way, weave his way through the all these uh, projectiles, and break then, this wall, dude. He's got to break the zone. And I think Nico is starting to catch on to Kamehameha just, you know, holding the metal blade, facing like away from him. It's just like, okay, I know exactly what you want. You want to set up some kind of saw blade setup into the up tilt, and now Nico is very much so spacing around that and just respecting that metal blade. Okay, he's got it in shield of Monado Arts. Ooh, man, that, that Nair to dash attack is so nice for damage, especially in the Buster Art. It's the ledge trap here, and wow, a very brave getup attack is going to catch Nico off guard. Oh, and there's the ah. hard knuckle taking him straight left and also connecting that crash bomb. It's great when uh, your opponent's intangible because the crash bomb still connects. But we mustn't be careless. Ooh, there the we go. Air. Gets up back here. Catches him center stage. I like it. Okay, everyone in the crowd just wanting Nico to win. Of course, he is the uh, the man right now, repping Southern California, trying to defend the homeland here against all these invading Mega Mans. <laughs> yeah, I mean, so many of them. There's just the final one. This is the final boss. Yeah, yeah. Like, you, you, this is your last life too. You got to go all the way back to the start of the game if you lose this, man. You don't want to do that. There's no like, this is a tournament, man. Yeah, you're gonna you, use one life. You might get that run back at Evo, but <laughs> I don't know right now, dude. Not an MSM. 79%. Speed Minato War tries to go for the Z drop. Oh. Now we're trying to convert that into something, but you know, Nico makes up the timing of what, when he was gonna time when to get back onto the ledge. Yeah, and I've seen these Mega Man's actually convert off that like one hit of back air falling onto the ground into like another back air and aerial. And wow, maybe the intangibility from the switch actually changing that, but there it is. That's Risky. Yeah, yeah, and I mean, like you said before, those other forward smashes have been working out, but Kameme adapting to that, and he's like, ah, you might get a little greedy here. Especially in Smash Minato Art, where if he hits shield, it's super unsafe, because that does like no shield pushback, no shield damage, no nothing. Yeah, yeah. And, and like you said, when you are in that shield art, most players are expecting that big swing, right? But the back air keeping it close here, Nico and Kameme, final stocks. I think Nico has the power to do this. The thing, uh, what's different this set and the last one is that even though he was up 2-0, it's not on the verge of getting a three stock. Nico's not giving up just yet. And he's, like I said, he's been keeping these past couple of games close. So this is insanely doable for him. This is, it's, just, it's go time. He's gotta do something. Yeah, sometimes you just got to have the confidence in the tank. But right now, Kameme slowly draining that out of him. Already 87% here on Nico. The saw blade in hand. Nico respecting it, maneuvering around it. Okay, okay. we're chilling back. He's sitting at 96%. Ooh, I like the uh, the backwards Nair there. Nair obviously starting behind Shulk. Really nice stuff. And he's playing a vanilla Shulk right now. He's focusing completely on the neutral until he has him off stage. Opts to switch over to his fast. Oh! He gets caught by the down air. I don't know if that was even techable because he was in Smash Bros. Art. He was going yeah. way too fast. Kameme finishing off Grand Finals, not dropping a single game to Nico. And going down with the first place here at MMM.